Portrait Artist of the Year. These are highlights from the worst judging ever in an episode. That would be Season 4, Episode 6. This is not a recap, and there are spoilers. Let's get started. As I said, this is not the recap of the episode. I'll be loading that later. This is Claire Skinner, and look at the painting that she has to respond to. That does not look like her at all. I, I'm just... I'm shocked. I'm shocked that somebody could get on the program and produce a painting like that. Here's another one that Claire has to choose from. They're, they don't look like her in any way at all. This is called Portrait Artist of the Year. It has to have a resemblance to the sitter. But this isn't even getting into the terrible judging yet. We're just talking about the participants so far. Okay, here's the second one. Take a look at this face. See if you can remember what it looks like. And here's the response. This is n not a bad painting, but it doesn't look anything like the sitter. And that is what I'm not particularly happy about. Not that uh, that is necessarily rewarded later. Here's the third participant in this episode. And let's see what his picture looks like. Well, it looks like a sea captain to me, you know? <laughs> The Titanic is going down, and here's the captain who's been put in that role. Does not look like the man. Here's the next one. This is all in one episode. So we're there was some, but there's going to be some great painting later, but some poor judging. The but take a look at this face, and now let's look at the response. And once again, we have absolutely no resemblance to the sitter. It's absolute. It's just shocking to me. Absolutely shocking to me. I I um. I, you see, I get I, I get speechless. All right, uh, I, when I do the recap, I'll have I'll have more to say, and it'll be positive. But this was just I couldn't get out of my system. Here's the last participant, uh, and let's take a look at the painting here, and see if it looks anything like her. This was Fiona Shaw. I really like this painting, but does it look like her? No, no, it does not. But we haven't gotten into the bad judging. Now we're going to enter the bad judging part, and this is the part that. Oh, I'm a sensitive soul. I, I have to admit, I just cannot let this go. So, here's Claire Skinner again. And now, to enter the program, you have to send a digital photograph of uh, a self-portrait, which you have all the time in the world to do, which is on the left. And there's the portrait on the right that he did in the four hours of Claire today. That looks like her. This is the painting that she picked to go home. And when I saw this, I thought when he has unlimited time, which is the prize is a commission with unlimited time to paint your sitter, I thought, well, he's just won the program hands down. There's no question. He's the best painter that's come along so far. Aye. Well, let's see if the judges feel that way. And you already know that they're not gonna. But how painful would it be to know that you're the best painter, clearly the best painter in the room, in the program, and not to be rewarded. Now let's look at the second one. This is all in one episode. All right, here's the second one. And take a look at that face. And now we're gonna look at the self-portrait that was entered where she had unlimited time. So you see that under the time constraints of the four hours, she couldn't, uh, she had some difficulty with that. But it definitely looked like him, looked like him the, more than any other of the paintings. It's the one he chose to take home. And she can handle the final commission. Look at that work. Uh, it's just fantastic. All right, so at, so we've seen number one, and now we've seen number two. And now here's the third one that they're going to choose from. And only one of these people is going to go forward in the program. All right, we've seen this face before. And now let's look at the picture response. It's a good response. And we can see with unlimited time on the left that he will probably do a better job than he did under the time constraints. But here's where I have a problem. We just had three strong contestants, and you saw them. You saw their self-portraits, and you saw the work that they did today. And this is the person. This person was passed over. This was passed over. This person doesn't even make it further than this episode. And this is episode six, and we have seen some really weak painting and to not to pass this person over was just egregious to me i I'll, I'll never understand it and the person who did win the episode is this person 
especially this one. Someone will have to explain to me how this person doesn't even get moved forward at all, is as ignored as some of the really poor paintings that I showed earlier in this video. I, I, I just, um, you know, I love the program, but right now I am not loving the program because I just feel this is so unfair. Now, when the winner was announced, and it was not this fella, but you know, he smiled and was gracious, of course, and I just could read his mind. He, it, he's perfectly fine. He knows he's the best painter. He knows he had the goods, but he was not selected. I'm sure his career will continue to be very, very successful because this kind of work, this kind of, um, I don't want to say talent because I'm sure he had some talent, but it means that he spent He's been traditionally trained, he's had time on paper and canvas, and he is very astute and knows what he's doing. And to not have that honored and, and to be passed over, I just, I don't think it destroyed him in any way, but, um, but it, it did not help for me the integrity of the program. But I'd like to know how you feel about it. it um, Obviously, I feel pretty strongly, but I will be reviewing the episode soon, but this was just too, too juicy. I couldn't let it go. All right, remember to keep the white sheet paper white, your paint's wet, mass for value, mix for color. Please join my YouTube channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.